Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 2023 Stephen University Fashion Show. We are pleased to see you all in person. My name is Brianna Chafin. I am a senior here at Stevenson University. My major is business administration, while my minor is in fashion design. And my name is Hannah Johnson. I'm a junior here at Stevenson, majoring in business communications and have a minor in fashion merchandising. And we are your hosts for this year's show. We would like to begin with a few highlights in the fashion design department this year. In the fall, we had our annual fashion exhibit featuring garments from the third year concept development class. The theme was designing a look, exploring storytelling and personal narratives. You will see these garments in the show. During spring break, Professor Simpson and Chung led a group of fashion and cultural study abroad tour to Milan and Florence, Italy. 13 students came, a variety of majors, they all participated, myself included. Uh, the itinerary included walking around the, each city, walking tours, seeing Michelangelo's David, the Ferragamo Museum, the Gucci Garden, and eating authentic Italian food. This, though, this was the only study abroad experience at Stevenson University this year, and the first experience since the, the pandemic in 2020. Two students presented design research and work from the courses Fashion Illustration and Flat Pattern during the Paul D. Lack Scholarship Showcase. The Technical Illustration class partnered with VME Imagery and designed school uniforms to be more accessible for disabled children. Recently, we had our annual FAD Club Brunch with Bosses event where over 30 fashion students networked with professionals from the brands Under Armour, Lily Poulter, Ralph Lauren, and other brands. The first scene to preview includes garments from our 200 level fashion design courses. These courses include garment construction, flat pattern, and draping. Garment construction introduces students to industry clothing construction methods. Students create three garments throughout the semester, a child's dress, tailored skirt, and trousers, developing their sewing skills with each project. Flat pattern is the course where students learn to draft flat patterns, which is an initial step in the fashion design. They construct two garments with their own patterns during a semester. Draping introduces the three-dimensional system of creating draped clothing patterns on a dress. Students construct two garments during this semester.
is a preview into the garments made in our 300 level fashion design courses, tailoring and concept development. Tailoring takes the concepts of both flat pattern and garment construction and develops upon them. Students create two jackets within the semester. Concept development concentrates on the design development process. Students create one look inspired by a sculpture and a theme. This year's theme was exploring storytelling and personal narratives, inspired by our artists in residence, Linda Pop and Karen Birch.
so proud to introduce our seniors. You will see looks from the collections class that focuses on developing, designing, drafting patterns, and sewing a seven-piece collection throughout the student's senior year. Each student chooses their own inspiration for their final collection, which you can read about in your programs. To begin, we will present a short video featuring our designers discussing their work and give you a behind-the-scenes look at what it takes to create a collection. So the name of my collection is called Streetwear Couture. Um, the inspiration was streetwear fashion and couture fashion. So I used like denim and a lot of couture pieces like foam fitting to the body. Well, during this collection, I think I learned a lot about myself, especially with like the different obstacles that I had to overcome, like making the patterns and sourcing the fabric. I think it made me a better designer because instead of getting so frustrated about some stuff, like I try to stay calm and just like work stuff out with myself and like my teachers and just get everything done. My collection name is Opulence. I was mostly like inspired by shiny things, so I decided to make gowns and outfits for like women who want to feel beautiful and like pretty and elegant. One of my favorite models and her stylist, La Roach, they style Zendaya really well and like what something like Zendaya would wear. So she's very good with wearing feminine pantsuits or like dresses and stuff like that. I chose children's wear because it's unique and different and I just love how children dress and the ideas behind why they dress and the patterns they put together. I have done my internship where I am currently have a job offer and that is called We Chic. It's a children's wear modern boutique and I will be furthering my career with styling and soon to be a buyer. My collection is called Systematic. I wanted to base it around different like issues within society. I take a lot of inspiration from like the punk and streetwear movement and also drag a little bit from like the exaggeration of everything. This is one of the examples. The sleeves are on the model. They're almost a four a little bit. I want people to feel powerful when they're wearing my garments. I feel like the most issues I've encountered are with like my own head. I will overthink the concept to death and that I feel like that's like hampered my designs in the past. But I feel like I've been able to work at least a little bit, I hope mostly past it. So my collection is named Belladonna and that means beautiful woman in Italian, but it's also a poisonous plant. So I like the double meaning that it has because my collection combines very feminine elements with punk elements. I wanted to show femininity instead of being less dainty, it's more bold and edgy. So a lot of my collection has like kind of darker colors, but also some lighter colors. There's a lot of metal hardware like chains, pins. My collection would definitely have a younger target market and it is an evening wear collection, so girls who like to dress up and go out to like clubs and parties. So the name for my collection is Volcanic Brilliance, and basically I got that name from how people perceive me as, you know, a tall, strong black guy, um, but in reality, they don't see the artistic side and parallel that to volcanoes for how people perceive volcanoes to just be mountains, but when they erupt, um, they see the explosive, creative side that comes out that people don't often see. I want to see people basically that look like me in my clothes, and I want them to feel confident and comfortable in their own skin when they wear my designs. I love to dance. I used to dance growing up. I also grew up in a, like a warmer climate, so I chose to do um, clothes based in Miami. Right here, I picked a lot of stretchier fabrics because in dance you want to wear stretchy fabrics and I also picked some vibrant colors because to me Miami is vibrant. My collection is called Aurora the New Dawn and it's inspired by slow living in a busy city and I wanted to combine the cottage core aesthetic with a city girl aesthetic. One thing that I can take from this program is thinking quickly because a lot of my designs and my collection changed um, once I finished drafting it, I had to redraft it and make up new designs and just kind of taking um, ideas from those designs into the new one and um, producing it quickly.
and five, six, and five, six, seven, eight. Let's give a round of applause for our student designers. We now have design awards to recognize the excellent work of our fashion design students. I'd like to ask our professors Simpson, Ehrenheim, and Chung to come up on stage to help us present the awards. Good evening. I'm Leslie Simpson, professor and coordinator of the Fashion Design Program. I'd like to introduce my colleagues, Leah Ehrenheim, affiliate professor and studio manager, and Min Chung, artist in residence. I have the honor of presenting two awards tonight to our students. Our first award is Most Innovative Design. This celebrates a collection created by a fashion student who demonstrates outstanding and innovative design techniques and thinking. This award goes to Tanaya Rice for her collection, Step Up, Step Out, Step Into Me. Great. The next award is Best in Show. This celebrates a collection created by a fashion student who demonstrates outstanding garment construction, design thinking, and innovation. This award goes to Marjorie Navas for her collection, her collection Opulence. applause and for all our students so proud of them tonight thank you and now our hosts have a few final remarks thank you we like to give thanks to president Hirschman province Gorman Dean bookbinder and Dean Amanda for their support of the fashion design program Aaron Harris and his team in the marketing department for the great senior video. David Hesse and his team in athletics for live streaming the show. Theater manager Chris Krostick and his crew for making sure our show was such a success. 
Mark Lortz, and his music technology class for making all the music you he heard here tonight, Professor Leah Ehrenheim, and the students in the fashion design show production, and also the volunteers for running the fashion show. And thank you all for coming. We hope that you had an amazing time seeing what our students have been working on this semester and the talent and creativity in our program. Please grab a cupcake on your way out in the lobby.